This is your captain speaking. Current time in Dublin, Ireland is 19.02 p.m. If you Americans don't understand European time, at 7 o'clock. In the, it's after tea time. And we'll be touching down rather quickly. I don't know how to fly a plane. How's it going, folks? Uh, you're all very welcome <laughs> to the stream. Uh, this one, this one is, is, is this is gonna be a fun one, honestly. Uh, I, I'm quite excited for this stream tonight. Uh, can you hear me? Okay. Can you hear the game? Okay. Squidly, thank you for the thousand bits. Uh, happy belated birthday to you. I hope you had a good stream. Apologies, I couldn't make it, but I hope you had a good one. Uh, you can all, you can hear me? Okay. Every, everything's good. Just vibing that music. It's that's proper vibe music. You ever just, you ever just hear something when you're listening on Spotify Premium, and you think, man, this vibes. That's this music. <laughs> really, thank you again for the bits. Uh, now that's a sock jam. <laughs> Uh, God, how is everyone doing though? You're all very welcome to the stream. Uh, we're gonna be playing this for a few hours. I, I have a controller with me. I don't know what the best way to play this game is. I, I opened this game briefly and I immediately crashed the plane. Um, was, I, I was like, like, Jesse, you gotta see how complicated that this is. I was on the runway. I was trying to take off and like we nosedived and the engine exploded. Um, so I, I don't, I don't fancy our chances, <laughs> but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Oh, thank you for the hype train there, folks. How, how, how's it going? Ah, Jesus. Okay, I think, I think, I think we're, we're good to, to get going. Um, I, I think we're gonna give this a go. Uh, I, other people who have, if you, any, some people have seen other streamers in that play this. Is a controller the preferred way to play, or do I want a mouse and keyboard? Because there seems to be so fucking much in the cockpit. I'm convinced that the best way to play this is if I have like a full, like, actual cockpit in front of my PC. You'll be fine. You want a flight master joystick? <laughs> Use a controller. Well, let, let, let's validate there. It, it, it seems to take a moment. This, this game I've noticed like, can blip from time to time. Um, so we, we will see how this goes. Ah, Kat, thank you for the 25 fucking gift subs. My god, man. I haven't even started the stream, but thank you. That's incredibly generous. You gave a lot of subs um, last night too, I believe. Thank you. Very kind. Okay, we got a daher. Uh, departure airport. Yeah, uh, the history, I, I was just making sure it could work. I want to start in Dublin, Ireland. This is where we're leaving from. Uh, where, where would be our first, wh where's a good first destination? I, 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 I want it to be like cool stuff we can see. Should we start small and say that we're going to go down to Cork and we're going to visit Kevin? Is Cork airport here? Yeah, there, there's ick. Then cork, cork. Twenty-two minute flight. That, that, that should be fairly manageable. Okay, let's fly. Go to Woohoo Island. <laughs> this isn't Wii Sports. Ah, oh, God. So, so th this game, if people haven't seen it or heard of it, um, it, it's a flight simulator. But I think the cool thing is they've mapped the entire planet um, for this game, and the terrain is actually like like somewhat modeled. Uh, so there's actually a lot of detail uh, in this version of rendition of the world, which is like, like the, the quite impressive thing about it. 
and they've got like a lot of major international airports um, listed in the game, so you can kind of like set your own flight paths. There's like a mission kind of challenge mode I think you can do too, where it's particular destinations, particular scenarios. But you can also just free roam, and we're just going to free roam today. Go to Ohio. That's an impressive bit of modeling. Yeah, I, I can't imagine how long it took to actually develop this game. Because you, you have to do terrain for the entire planet. That's not easy. I'm out of water as well already, unfortunately. Sad times. Uh, it takes a little bit to load this game too, because it's loading the entire planet. This game, I think, is like a, it's 150 gigabytes in size, or something like fucking ridiculous. Um, it's actually absurd, and that's why I couldn't play it last night. I thought I'd be able to install it in time when I booted up the game. It's like, no, no, you can't. Dublin Tower Day or Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra Alpha ready at runway 28 South departure. Okay. Dublin International. This is my home. This, this is the airport I die to leave from. This is the plane I leave from too. I've got my own private jet. It's very laggy right now. It, it, oh, hang on. Okay. Uh, General. It's not a good sign when the graphics, uh... Set that. When the graphics menu itself struggles to load. That's not a good sign. Uh, do I turn V-Sync off too? That, that tends to fix like 90% of problems. You think we're good now? Let me just turn VSync back on and I'll see if there's a difference. Hang on. Oh, I think it's better with VSync on this one. Okay. Um. We need to start the plane. Oh, so that. Wait. So that's if I use the controller. These are the pedals. What did I do there? Okay, I've I've turned on the engine. The park and brake still engage. Press Y and V. Here we go. Oh wait, no, we need to get our speed up first. Hang on. Okay, but Bumpy start. We need to straighten it. <laughs> I didn't think we would die that fast. <laughs> we weren't even off the fucking ground. <laughs> okay, uh, restart. Ah, uh, Gene, thanks for 200 bits. Don't fly to Texas, the plane will melt. FYI, survive the hurricane. Oh god, hope you're doing alright. Exactly, thanks for 100 bits. Isn't it true you can actually visit your own house in one-to-one -one scale? Um, I mean, I, I, I can try to. I, we could go to, du oh my god, we could go to Dublin City. I'll show you some of the sites in Dublin. That's, that's perfect. We can see the spire. We can visit the spire. Oh my, yeah, we gotta do that. We have to do that. I just gotta get the plane off the off the ground. Okay, I'm, I'm ready to fly. Okay, maximum throttle. Ty Crack, thank you for a thousand bits. Turn off the park and brake. Okay, where, where where can I view my speed? The plane the plane's starting to move very fast and I'm veering off. How do I turn left? View 
Okay. I, I, I need to straighten out on the runway. Get to the middle. Get to the middle. The takeoff. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> it's been an accident. Uh, uh. We're gonna see this screen a lot tonight. <laughs> I can't believe we've died twice already. A man has crashed in Lego City. I was like, are we gonna even make it to the spire? Like, I can't go straight, sh straight on the runway. If I get into the sky, I'll be fine. But it's the takeoff and land. Those are the two most Double dangerous bits Alpha of flying. Sierra when you're in the air, you're Sierra fine. Alpha ready for south departure at runway two it's not much you have to worry about. Let's let's try to take the handbrake off this time. Maybe if I use the keyboard and mouse. Okay, so. Let's zoom in here. Maximum throttle. If I use the two in conjunction. How do I turn on keyboard and mouse? No. No. I can still take off. <laughs> Go! Into the sky! <laughs> In stall. Stall. Don't stall the engine. Air Golf Sierra Alpha, continue for south departure. I will contact you next when you leave my airspace. Oh, we're, we're in the air! Air Golf Sierra Alpha, you are leaving my airspace. Frequency change approved. So we gotta turn around, because Dublin City is this way off to the right. Can I get a better camera view? Stall. Stall. Gotta stop stalling the engine. We're it, we're it. Is anyone else really anxious right now? Do a flip. I could actually try to do a flip. Let's not do that yet. I'll die. What, 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 what are all the hazards? Press the left stick. Have I done that? What, what's blinking? Does anyone say? Kind of just going into the sky. Stall. Stall. Stop stalling. How do I? How do I turn this around? Low. Thank you for the tear tree. Thank you very much. <laughs> Stall. Yeah, Dublin City is a bit more of this way. Please acknowledge- I don't know how to acknowledge. I need- I need less throttle. Stall. Stall. No! Stall. Stall. No, don't! Stall. Stall. Okay, Stall. we can pull up. Stall. We can pull up. Okay, don't. Turn that up. Turn airplane mode on. Where's airplane mode? Oh, I'm scared. Okay, let's take a closer look at our controls. We'll work this out. Indent, we have a timer. This is nose down. I don't want to hit that. That's the landing gear. Don't. Welcome, turn it. Okay, don't engage landing gear. Um, is there like an easy pilot mode? Can I, can I open the door? Is there an emergency exit? Sorry, I'm going into the sun again. But the throttle at 81. Okay, let me... That should be better. Oh, we need to turn. <laughs> we need... 
Turn on autopilot. Where's autopilot? Does anyone see it? What does this do? Override fuel control. Oh, don't. I need to zoom out. What happened? The plane exploded. F-13 is autopilot. There's no F-13 button. <laughs> if there's an autopilot button, I'll be fine. Do the tutorial. Should I do the tutorial? Should I learn how to fly the plane? No. <laughs> no. People don't want me to do it. But why? We're going to die. I'll give it one more shot, and if I if the engine explodes midair this time and recreates the Hindenburg disaster, no, I will um Sierra do the tutorial. I was glad. ready for departure to the south at runway two eight. Is there is there an autopilot button? Do we try find that? They're all just lights. That resets the generator. I wait, no, I've turned off the plane. How do I I shouldn't have pulled that. How do I turn the plane back on? I go press Y and B. Hang on. Wait, no, but everything's offline. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> oh, hang on. Wait, wait, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Slow down. Slow down. We'll just sit on the runway, Mo. Turn this way. Okay. Am I gonna stop? Yeah, that should stop it. Oh, is that that's speeding it up? Set the head and indicator, press D. D's not doing anything. Basic controls. What does this do? No. Nope. Sorry. I'm trying to work out how to fly this thing. I can just, okay, I can set it to, con the AI will control the aircraft. And then I can just take control again. How do I turn the plane back on? <laughs> How bad is it if I... I can take her from here. Press left stick. I press left stick. I think it's retracted. Press F5. The flaps have retracted. Incorrect heading. <sighs> press D. I I'm pressing D. Okay, well... <sighs> Sometimes, some, sometimes the best way to learn to ride a bike is to just get on it and go. And, you know, you'll fall a couple of times and your fuel tanks will explode. Um, immolating your entire body and 
most likely killing you, but it's the best way to learn. It's the best way to, like, practice makes perfect. Press the ejector button. Is there an eject button? Turn on the air conditioning. Am I still good? Still good. I'm just I'm just kind of spinning. What does this do? Fuel tank selector. Um, we can cut off control. I'm still fine. There's Dublin. We're gonna make our way around. I need I need to turn back on the monitors. Press B. B doesn't seem to be doing anything. I need I need to, I need to steady us. Set the generator to on. We set the main generator. Should I be doing this right now? This. Where is the. Ge it's overhead on the left. Oh, thank God, it's booting up. Okay. We're making progress. One of my monitors is not back online. That's fine, I didn't need that one anyway. Getting a bit too high, I'm just gonna... How do I lower my <laughs> But you can disable crashing, can you? Oh, that's perfect. That's all I gotta do then. If I can't crash the plane, then whatever I do is fine. You ripped off the wings. <laughs> I just like nosedived like 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 half a kilometer or something and just like went straight down and then just pulled up. And like the wings just like like popped off into the upper atmosphere. Do the goddamn tutorial. Okay, I'll do the tutorial. Alright. Do the, the, what, but, but if I turn it off, if I make it so I can't crash the plane, hang on. Assistance. Middle ground. All assists. Apply and safe. Sierra, Let's go. I think I've got it now. So I, I'm I'm invincible now. Go. Hey, this 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 monitor's back on too. I need to return the break off. Go. Keep it down on the ground. Let's go up. Track the landing gear. How we doing? Oh! 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 No! 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 Oh, we bounced. We're okay. Not dead. 
shut down. Why do I want to shut down the engine? Objectives end the flight. But I haven't gone anywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna do a tutorial. I'm, I'm, I'm. Get out of here. Okay, let's let's learn to fly a train, a uh, plane. Cinder, thanks for five quid. Make sure you set your squat code to seven thousand five hundred. I don't know what that means. Learn to fly in a Cessna 152. Okay, if I if I do these first four, I should be okay. I, I don't care about traffic. I, d tell me how to steer the plane. Let's fly. That was shorter than Wilbur and Orville's first flight. <laughs> oh no. Walk 7500 so the tower knows you need help. Like, I, I, I just want to, like, be able to show Dublin. But I don't think I, I'm going to be able to fly the plane long enough to just not die. Will these tutorials take long to complete? If any if anyone else here in the chat happens to have this game. No, they don't. Okay, they're not long. Okay. Do, should I use a mouse and keyboard or the controller? I'm ready to fly. I'm in the air right now. Flight training. I'm your instructor, Captain Molina, Where's the instructor? You can just call me Jess. The, the, there's no one in Next the plane. Session, we'll get started with some basic controls. Sound good? It is first so first, laggy here. Let's get familiar with your surroundings. There you go. Takes a moment to load. Don't worry. I've got the stick while you get your bearings. Out your side windows. You can see. We have great visibility over Sedona today. Can I learn, use it with a controller or the, the, the mouse and keyboard? Both. Okay. This is Red Rock territory. Beautiful, isn't it? Okay. Press right stick in. I, I, I already don't know how to reset the camera. Left, right, up, down. What? Just zooms me in here. Oh, the game does not like this. Okay. So I can I, I, I can kind of get different views like that. I I can go further back. That's the thing. How do I do that with the control? You get there. And there you go. There's no instructor on this plane. I need to do? Oh, it's chugging. It's chugging. Oh. <laughs> the game does not like this area. It's a ghost con instructor. The 
instructor is working from home. It wants me to, it doesn't want me using the controller. Oh, no, it, it, it's both, isn't it? It's both. Control, alt, and one to save a thing. Press right stick. Pilot view. See if you can and spot press the Sedona one. Airport. The runway should be a pretty okay. easy landmark to find. It's too complex for just a control. There you go. Visual confirmation. There's the airport. airport. Now that we're oriented, it's your turn. Time to fly this bird. Let's go. The first control on our training list is the yoke. I still remember my first instructor saying the yoke is like a steering wheel. Almost. Sure, you can turn, but you can also pitch. For starter, you left the training airspace, you need to go back. <laughs> I'm trying. It's easier said than done. The ailerons. And the ailerons, they allow the plane to roll and bank into turns. Did I allow it to roll, really? I seem to be familiar with this maneuver. You left the training airspace, you need to go back. Okay, I got the yoke down. Go ahead and try rolling to the right. Nice. Nice. We're doing good. Now let's see you level back out. How do I level back out? I'm going down right now. You left the training airspace, you need to go back. There we go. Good. Of course, the yoke also controls the elevator and the elevator affects the plane's pitch right okay I I, I need to go back the plane starts to, climb. to the airspace give it a shot it's, it's over there somewhere the most valuable things in aviation are speed and altitude but hang on lady I need to get back to the training zone speed is decreasing you could add more power more power I how do I add more power Where's more power? This is the throttle. It, no, it's at 100%. Okay, I need to get over here. Let me push forward on the yoke like to decrease that. pitch. Your speed's picking up again as the nose pitches down. We're as almost back, back at the up, airport. Let's talk about another control. The rudders at your feet. The rudders. Rudder pedals control the aircraft's side-to-side -side movement, also known as yaw. <laughs> On the ground, those pedals are going to steer the plane left or right. Okay. Up here, pedals seem to be good. They probably align us during turns. All right. Try them out and watch the plane's nose skew to either side. So we back in the mine, up, swinging right? our pickaxes from side to side. Wait, don't, this is the train airspace. The airport's right there. I need to pull up. Right. Before we go on, let's bring the plane back to straight up flight. Make sure your dashboard is aligned three to four inches below the horizon for a cruise attitude. I'm entering the airport at a bad angle right now. Hang on. I, I need to straighten the aircraft. I need to dodge the airport first. Hang on. You left the training airspace. You need to go back. This is, this is where I need to go, though. How do, I, how do I stop it? Okay, the last thing we're gonna cover now is the throttle. Do I not need this if airport? If you have the need for speed, then the throttle's for you. Full control over the power output of the engine. Let's see what happens when you cut all the power. Uh... Use throttle lever, decrease throttle to cut in engine power. Surprise, surprise. Our altitude is deep. You've left the training airspace. You need to go back. Uh. Surprise, surprise. Our altitude is decreasing. This might be a good time for a piloting PSA. Always keep an eye on your surroundings because nobody likes a low flying duck. Um. All right, let's go ahead and throttle back up. I'm trying to throttle back up. Yeah, it's it's back on maximum. I think we're good. Is increasing, and as long we're clear as of the town. The same attitude, 
Our altitude will keep climbing too. You're really getting the hang of your. You left the training airspace. Let's go back. <laughs> you're really getting the hang of it. You know. You really, really understand how to fly. You've left the training space. I can't see your progress. I won't real. I won't need a co-pilot. Are you sure about that? Are you absolutely bust? Until then, if you want help with the radio or checklists or simply flying the plane, I'll be here. Hey, thanks, lady. You know, I really. When you're ready to finish your session or keep flying. How do I finish my session? I may need to do it quick. We're about to hit the trees. The Delegate Aircraft Control- <laughs> I think I did more than just damage my landing gear, I'm gonna be frank with you here. Uh. Okay, let's- let's try the next level. This is a tutorial and I've almost died. <laughs> This is the part of the game that's literally telling you what to do and how to do it. Well, I hadn't done the takeoff and landing courses, so that's that was my problem. Let's let's learn the instruments. I used to play the clarinet for a while. I don't know if that'll help. Really? Yeah, it's true. Oh, I, I have a clarinet. That's I, I, my family home. I tried learning it. Turns out when you have asthma, though, and a lot of lung issues, it's a real bad instrument to pick. Because it completely relies on airflow. Which I don't have. Um, so I have to give it up. I've always wanted to learn to play piano, though. Here's our second lesson. I'm ready to fly. Today we're talking about attitudes of flight. How your plane is oriented relative to the horizon. It takes a moment to load. But then it all kind outside, of bops in. The cockpit is just about four inches below the horizon line. We're S flying straight with a decent rate of speed. Quick reference guide to basic controls available from the in flight office by pressing Control C. Let's see how it reads on your instruments. The, the, there's no controls listed. This doesn't help me. Take a look at the attitude indicator. As the name implies, it shows your current attitude. The white line is the horizon. Does she mean altitude or attitude? element in the middle aligned with the horizon that's your plane just like attitude we saw outside, okay. our current attitude reads pretty much straight and level that's our attitude feeling a bit okay, sassy let's today see how much power the engines generating check your tachometer <laughs> looks like we're pushing around which one's the tachometer per minute combined they all sound like a tachometer this is technology. Uh, these are all ominous. Which leads us to your airspeed indicator. Is it that one? That's airspeed. Now, last but not least, check your altimeter. To figure out your altitude, that's my altitude. you always want to read the small needle first. That's how many thousands of feet up you are. Then on to the big needle for the hundreds. The circle, I think. They're all circles. With our current attitude and power output, we're holding a speed of 90 knots and right, a stable take control altitude of, the plane? of 6,000 feet. No, I can't. Just want to know. But that's to change. Take the stick when you're ready. What will you do now, instructor? I should give him that back. This might not end well for me. <laughs> oh wait, I'm in control now. The instru the instructor left. Oh no. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Oh no. <laughs> How many times have we died playing the tutorial? This tutorial is just I'm gonna take a look at like how to read like 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 the attitude and like the the, the pedometers on the plane. <laughs> it ended by crashing into a mountain. We're just trying to read. <laughs> uh, like we didn't have to do any. Today we're talking about attitudes of flight. How your plane is oriented uh. relative to the horizon. Oh outside, no, I gotta do this again. See the cockpit is just about four inches below <laughs> the horizon line. Why does it let me just yank that? We're flying straight with a decent rate of speed. This is the cruise attitude. You Let's shouldn't be able to die in this mission. <laughs> Instructor leaves immediately dies. <laughs> you think she's just like saw what I was doing. I was like, nope, fuck this, I ain't dying today. And she just, like, got a parachute and jumped. She just exited the vehicle. <laughs> oh, my God. Let's focus on the instruments again. Take a look at the attitude indicator. So this is attitude. As the name implies, it shows That's airspeed, that's altitude. Which one was the tachometer? Above and the ground below. <laughs> that orange element in the middle aligned with the horizon, that's your plane. Ah, Jesus. Jeez, uh, like Pingu outside, and Gene, thank you for the bits. Attitude reads pretty much straight Do I level. will not fly this airline again? Pilot crashed moments into the flight. Okay, now let's see how much power the engine's generating. Check your tachometer. Like, like this is the equivalent of, like, if Looks you're a like doctor, practicing, like, operation on, in, in, like, a VR simulator or something, and RPM but like someone actually dies, despite there being no patient. Like that—that's just what happened. Your indicator. Now, last but not least, check your altimeter. Which one was the tachometer again? To Fuck! I forgot. Altitude, you always want to read the small needle first. That's how many thousands of feet up you are. Then on to the big needle for the hundreds. With our current attitude and power output, we're holding a speed of 90 knots and a stable I don't, I don't know what that of 6,000 feet. It doesn't seem to have any consequence. I feel very short in the play. But that's about to change. Take the stick when you're ready. I feel like I'm... Take the stick when you're ready. I can't see! I can't see! I need to reset the camera. Pull back slightly on the yoke oh, to good. raise the nose just above the horizon line. I felt like I was five years old and I was flying a plane. Make sure you don't pick Do you up need a child seat? I need a booster. Lift. And without enough lift, we'll stall. <sighs> Alright, go full throttle and start climbing. Full throttle. Welcome to the climb attitude. See how it shows up on your attitude indicator and tachometer? Oh According yeah, I'm. To your altimeter, we're gaining altitude. So we're going up. But we're losing airspeed even at full throttle, proving you can't avoid basic physics while making a climb. So you can go okay, really go far on, up. Let's get back to a cruise attitude. Ease up on the yoke and aim your nose just below the horizon. Then throttle it's, it's back. It's a bit down below the horizon right RPMs. now. Oh no, she's doing it for me. Thank God. Okay, so I go a bit. So go aim below the horizon and you'll go down. There we go. We're good. Just below the horizon. I just saw the 2300 RPM. Nice job. We're now set up with the same attitude and power we had at the top of our lesson. Uh, instructor, we may need to pull up soon. Next up is the descent attitude. Start by reducing your RPMs to 1800. Then drop the plane's nose a bit. How do I do with that? What's an RPM? 
Aim it further below the horizon. I can't aim it much further below without the plane crashing. Throttle. As expected, with a nose down attitude, our altitude is decreasing while our speed is picking up. There we go. Why don't you get us back to a cruise attitude and we'll hit the last part of our lesson. Okay. There we go. Now that we know how to cruise, oh. climb, and descend, let's talk about the turn attitude. Gently pull the yoke left or right to start rolling the plane. <laughs> if you take a look outside, you can see how our attitudes change. I have but to do it. I have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> had to do it. At the top of your attitude indicator, there's a series of notches representing 10 degrees each. Use them to control your roll. Where, wait, where are these? Is it these Notice ones? the more you turn, the more you need to pull back on the yoke to maintain altitude. When you're rolling out, you'll need to do the opposite. Roll and push at the same time. Wait, what? I, I don't understand. The more you know about the main attitudes of flight, the closer you get to that pilot state of mind. So keep practicing. Oh, it means on this one done, here. I controls. can see it now. Yeah. I'm learning. Delegate aircraft control. Press control. Alt X. I gotta take my hands off the keys. Thanks. I've got control now. Oh, All that right. was close. <laughs> I did it! I understand- I, I don't know what I learned. <laughs> I've- I've no idea. Well, we only died twice in that level, I think. Um, let's learn how to take off and level the flight. Jibs, thanks for 800 bits. I currently have a negative a attitude because I keep getting stuck in these flights. Please, sir, I'm just trying to get home. <laughs> Can I just like play this with like a race car wheel? <laughs> like just, just a regular steering wheel. Just use pedals to accelerate. Can I make it Mario? Can I play this like a Wii remote? <laughs> Aim the pointer at the screen to press the buttons. Get a drink from Jesse, it'll help you fly better. I'm. I got a drink in the fridge. <laughs> you know, hang on, let, let's enjoy ourselves. I'll be right back. Back guys, sorry, I was asked to review a Ritz cracker. 
I don't know what's going on either. I feel like for some streams, if I hop downstairs and that, you have to like be on Jesse's channel too that I make sense of what's actually happening. Uh, oh, I got a drink though. This should help us learn how to fly the plane. Oh, I got myself a Copperberg mixed fruit. Um, so let's learn. Let me just down this, this real quick. Like a mile of road will take you a mile. A mile of runway okay. will take you anywhere. Hey, yo, I, I, I can only play with one hand now because the other Take hand I've got my hard, alcohol. But there are a few key points to remember. First, we always take off into the wind, which won't be an issue on a calm day like today. Okay, that's good to know. Second, before we enter a runway, we always make sure it's clear. Disengage the park and brake. I've done this bit before. Focus on the runway, hold it. Looks good, no cross traffic. Go ahead and taxi into position. The rudder pedals should make steering the plane pretty easy. Wait, I don't know. I've got too much throttle. We gotta, we gotta just turn a bit. Not quite ready to go there yet. Let's get back in position and try oh, this again. Oh, thank you. No, she straightened the plane. Alright, let's do this. Apply full power and I'll walk you through the takeoff as we go. Let's go. Okay, um, instructor. Use your rudders to stay on the center line and keep pushing power until you reach 55 knots. Gotta reach 55 miles per hour, Marty. We gotta go back to the future. With the lightning strikes the, cl stri strikes the clock tower, Marty, we gotta pull up. Gently, Line up the top of your instrument gently pull back on the yoke to take off. The horizon. That'll pitch us up and set a good climb attitude. And we're airborne. We're airborne. Focus on. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we died in a tutorial. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Let me get more of my drink. Taking big swigs. Big swigs. Ah. There's an old saying I like. Okay, she'll correct us for the first bit. Will take you a mile. A mile of runway will take you anywhere. Taking off isn't hard, but there are a few key points to remember. First, we always take off into the wind, which won't be an issue on Let's a calm day Let's get some more like of my today. drink. Hang on. Second, before we enter a runway, we always make sure it's clear. We're a bit too far down the runway. Let me move the plane back into position. Well, I did it! I was doing fine! Everything looks good, no cross traffic. I'm already on the runway. Position. I'm already on it. It's like, just make sure it's clear first. Alright, let's do this. Crabtree, thank you for a thousand bits earlier. How was your day, RT? My day's been lovely. Thank you very much. Ajax, thank you for a thousand bits. Fun fact, RT, did you know food drinks slash drink tastes different while flying? You can't taste sweetness or saltiness nearly as well as on an airplane due to altitude and pressure, as well as a lack of humidity. Excuse me. Excuse me. I mean, I always thought that was just down to, like, airline food not being as great. So, uh... <laughs> I don't have as much salt on it. Like, here's pretzels, but we forgot to salt them. Take one drink every time he crashes. I better catch up. <laughs> Give me a moment. Use your rudders to stay on the center line and keep pushing power until you reach 55 knots. Excuse me. Good. Now gently pull back on the yoke. Line up the top of your instrument panel so it's a couple inches above the horizon. That'll pitch us up and set a good climb attitude. And we're airborne. We did it! Focus on the 
focus on flying straight. Use your rudders to keep the runway heading of 210 degrees. <laughs> I shouldn't have used the rudder. Knots and we'll reach our target altitude of 5,500 feet in no time. Okay. I, I, I think I've got it. Can I do a flip, but like, like, instead of like side to side, it's like up and around. Hang on. We're gonna have to get quite high for this. Garp Shooter, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you very much. Hope you're enjoying the stream. I'll, I'll buy another drink with that. Oh, RT Airlines. Like, we get you not to the destination you wanted, but the destination you needed. RT Air. Air. Air T. Air T. Oh, God. You need more speed? I. No, that cut the engine. Hang on. Maintain 75 knots. Ah, uh, 5,500 feet. There we go. Safe altitude for part two of our lesson. Blind fire, thanks for a thousand bits. Someone flight. fly in anxiety, please stop. Step here is adjusting our oh, sorry. Hang on. I'm doing my best. We're in a cruise attitude, pushing max power. Okay, I want to see if I can do that barrel. Target altitude. Let's start by easing. Throttle back to 1800 RPMs. Oh my god! We did it! I'm alive! I gotta, I gotta lower my RPM. Auntie, thank you for 1400 bits. RT Air. By walking, you would have already arrived. That's a headline. How do I check my RPM? Wait, which dial was that again? There's airspeed. On the other side. Okay, so I, I, need, I need to lower it more. Probably notice to maintain altitude, you need to pitch the nose up. You can just keep pulling on the yoke to hold steady, go. but that's not really a precise means of control. Probably better to adjust your trim wheel until you don't need to push or pull. My on trim the yoke. wheel. Drag the trim down when you need to set the nose up. What's the trim Drag wheel? Up to set the nose down. Wait, wait. Try adding trim to keep us at 5,500 feet without increasing throttle. If you feel our pitch slipping and need to get back to the proper attitude, don't worry. Okay. Just pull on the yoke, then dial Y the right plus trip. up. But what, 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 what is that affecting? I don't know. The way I was taught, when you I, I, I did it, but I don't know what I did. Changes at first to remove pressure on the yoke, then small your trim. Where do you measure your trim? To keep your desired attitude. Is there a meter? That's the key to straight and level flight. It's beside the yoke. Which yoke? On the yoke? And that gives you more time to enjoy the ride. If you want more practice using the trim, go for it. Whenever you're ready to pass it's the control, altitude. I'll be here. I don't, I don't see it. Oh, there's a mountain. Okay, lady, I think it's your time to take the wheel. Okay, I have control. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. <laughs> It's like the instructor's like, like, okay, just calmly pass me the wheel as the plane's like about to touch the ground and she just like veers wildly up. <laughs> just like, we're just screaming. It's like, oh god! And like, okay, I have control. Let's learn how to land. I know one way to land, but it's not the correct way. I need to learn this. Okay. Let's, uh, let's give this a go. 
Uh, JF, thanks for a thousand bits. Hey, RT, I'm really enjoying the stream. Over the last few months, my mental health has been great. So this week, I decided to resign from my apprenticeship. I want to thank you because without your content, I wouldn't want to imagine how things could have turned out. I would be able to thank you enough for making me feel so much happier. I might not be able to donate as much over the next few months, but I'll definitely be here still. Again, thank you so much. Hey, JF, don't fucking worry about it, man. You know, don't worry about donating, like, ever. You've been so generous on my streams as last while. You know, look out for yourself, first and foremost. Honestly. And, uh, you know, for an apprenticeship and that, uh, you have to leave it, you know, that's okay, you know, uh, 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 that, uh, that's just how life goes sometimes. You know, but you're gonna figure it out and you're gonna get to the place you wanna be. It's just a bit of a journey there. Thank you very much. You're very kind. Don't worry about it, man. Uh, okay, we're ready to fly. Let's land the plane. My first instructor used to say, the best part of flying is landing in one piece. The man was a terminal pessimist, but he wasn't wrong. Today, you're in charge of bringing us in for a safe landing. We've <laughs> landed it. <laughs> Oh no. Like a glove. Okay, ready to fly. My first instructor used to say the best part of flying is landing. Am I supposed to be steering the plane or is that the instructor? Pessimist, but no, I'm steering wrong. the plane. Okay, sorry. Today, you're in charge of bringing us in for a safe landing. We've got clearance for a straight in approach, so we don't have to complete the standard oh, traffic. It's pattern. slowed in a bit. And I've already set us up in landing configuration. At 65 Give it a moment to load. Of flaps and idle power. Oh, we're good. We're on the glide slope now. Maintain Align with the runway and maintain 65 knots. knots. Change your pitch if you need to, and keep your aim point on the runway number. Wait, wait, wait where's the runway? The runway number, you want to keep it steady in your sights. Where's, where's the runway? I don't... Looks like the number's moving up in your windscreen. You're coming in low. Where's the runway? You need to add a bit more throttle to get back on the slope. I don't see it. If it looks like the number's moving down it's in over the screen, well then you're too high. You'll need to add flaps to increase your rate of descent, but you'll also need to push forward and trim to change your attitude and maintain the same speed. Okay. Hi, how's it going? Good to see you. We extend flaps to land and press F8. The flaps are on. I, I, I need I need to make it over there. Need to maintain 65 knots. I think I need a little bit of engine. Mostly all right here. Hope you having fun with this thus far. Oh, thanks, Ty. That's most. We're fairly okay here too. Having a good time. Uh, am I aligned with the runway? I don't know if I am. Oh, something is happening. Because my keyboard, with its RGB settings, is struggling to load. I think my computer might be dying the longer I play this game. I may have to lower the graphic settings more. Uh, let's do that now. Before it, like, poops itself. There we go. What is your build even? I've got a 2080 Ti. Like, I've got an i7 processor. Like, honestly, the build is fairly solid. This PC is quite beastly. Then it's next to the 333 bits. Uh, Kenza. Thank you for the 1100 bits. ART, I don't know if you remember, uh, but me and a small team are making an RT game game. Just want to say thank you for inspiring my first game. Oh my god. 
It's been a while since I've heard that mentioned. I hope it's going well. It's very flattering. Um, hope hope it works out. Kind of mad that anyone would even try and like like you know represent the shit I do on stream in a game. The RT game. Keep your aim point on the runway threshold. Am I aligned with the runway? Ten feet above the runway. It's time to flare. Oh, Once we pass the threshold, shift your aim point to the end of the runway. Then pull back slightly on the yoke to aim the nose just above it. I need more throttle. Oh god, this is gonna be a. I've lost sight of the runway. Full throttle. What? Oh, what? Encountered a problem. I don't know how to land the plane. <sighs> this is gonna be a problem. Oh God, love you! At, at the start of the lesson, they have you lined up perfectly straight with it. But for some reason, I started like spinning circles. We've got clearance for a straight-in approach, so we don't have to complete the standard traffic pattern. And I've already set sort of made it much easier. At 65 knots with 10 degrees of flaps and idle power. Oh, MRT, you're drunk. I am home. Maintain speed around 65 knots. Change your pitch if you Sorry, I was having some more of my drink. Keep your aim point on the runway number. When you're targeting the runway number, you want to keep it steady in your sights. If it looks like the number's moving up in your windscreen, just your trim, you're you're rolling right. How do I adjust my trim? Which one was the you trim? Need to add a bit more throttle to get back on the slope. If it looks like the number's moving down in your windscreen, well, then you're too high. You'll need to add flaps to increase your rate of descent, but you'll also need to push forward and trim to change your attitude yeah. and maintain the same speed. I've almost got 65 knots. Press F8. Oh no, that's 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 lowered my speed too much. Put that can down, Dan. You've had enough. How do I? I still need 65 knots. Gotta accelerate. Oh, it's so close to 65. Come on. Come on. Got it. Runway threshold. When you're 10 feet above the runway, it's time to flare. Once we pass the threshold, I need to lower the throttle. The runway. Then pull back slightly on the yoke to aim the nose just above it. We're almost here. Oh no. We're too high to land. SOP dictates we go around and try our approach again. Well, I can do it. I can do it. I... I could have done it. You can see, the runway was there. A kamikaze. <laughs> Oh no. Uh. Kaka, thank you for a thousand bits. Harry T, I got my boyfriend to watch your Lego Harry Potter stream all its last week. That was his first exposure to you. Now he associates you with Hagrid's meat wand. I don't regret anything. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but thank you. Uh, that was a very fun playthrough with Jesse. 
Dan Voxel, thanks for five quid as well. My first instructor used to say, the best part of flying is landing in one The pilot this hurts greatly to watch, mainly that I can't talk to you, talk you through it. Wait, are you an, a are you an actual pilot? Us in for a safe landing. Oh, where are we? We've got clearance for a straight-in approach, so we don't have to complete the standard traffic pattern. Where, where's the runway? And I've there already set us up in landing configuration. Oh, at 65 God. knots with 10 degrees of flaps and idle power. We're on the glide slope now. Maintain speed around 65 knots. Change your pitch if you need to, and keep your aim point on the runway number. When you're targeting the runway number, you want to keep it steady in your sights. This right? If it looks like the number is moving up in your windscreen, you're coming in low. You'll need to add a bit more throttle. That's the nuts, isn't the it? If it looks like the number's moving down in your windscreen, well, then you're too high. I need to you get need the to knots bit to clear. Your rate of descent, but you'll also need to push forward and trim to change your attitude and maintain the same speed. Extend flaps for land and press F8. Glide, don't throttle. How do I glide? Okay. Cut the engine, we'll glide. If I go down, I can get the knots up. Get it. Get it. I'm very close. Keep your aim point on the runway threshold. When you're 10 feet above the runway, it's time to flare. Okay. Once we pass the threshold, Shift your aim point to the end of the runway. Then pull back slightly I'm coming the in. to aim the nose just above it. I'm coming in. There we go. We're past the threshold, but still a bit high. Keep reducing altitude. I you should be able to start flaring the plane now. Keep pulling back slowly. Let the plane settle onto the runway. Have I done it? Push it down, but don't let it start climbing. Oh my god, I think I've done it. Nice. Now apply the brakes to slow us down and bring the plane to a stop. Which one's the brakes? Oh, press Y. Six slide at the end. Yeah, I made it! Yeah, that's right! Look at me go. People say I don't know what I'm doing. Why won't the plane stop? Plane. Plane. How do I turn? Is there like a power? Park? Break. Hold Y. Oh. As they say, any landing you can walk away from is a good landing. But if you can use the plane the next day, it's outstanding. Landing Silver or not, thanks for thousands of bits. Watch Jack collect lose their mind trying to get you to land is what I came here don't for. Hesitate to practice. After all, that's uh. what we're here for, right? We did it. I know how to land the plane now. The traffic, I don't, who cares about traffic? We don't have to worry. I know what I'm doing now. I, I, I think I'm ready. I can fly this plane. We're gonna go to Cork and visit Kevin. Dublin. Destination. Eck. Fly. At least do navigation. Who needs it? <laughs> Look, I'm just going for like a free roam fly. I know how to find my way around Ireland. I live in Ireland.
Go check out the spire. Kevin is gonna die in a plane crash. <laughs> oh no. Fly to your house. Uh. Oh no, because if, if I flew to my house, I'd, I'd, there'd be problems. I feel. Like, Dublin Tower Day or Alpha Sierra, my old family Alpha home Sierra, is still Alpha, occupied. I can't just fly there. You dox yourself. Yeah, I don't want to dox myself in like Microsoft Flight Sim. I, I can show you guys Dublin City. I'll show you guys where I went to uni. Because that, that should hopefully be on the map. It's in Dublin city center. This plane is completely different to the one I just learned to fly, but the principle should still be the same. Let's go. Okay, I, I've got this now. All the meters are here. I don't need that. This is what we train for. Don't mind it when it said stall. Landing gear's off. Air Golf Sierra Alpha, continue for south departure. I will contact you next when you leave my airspace. Doing good? Dublin Tower Day or Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra Alpha, continue for south departure. Sierra, Delta Tango, Charlie Foxtrot. Delta Sierra, Tango, Alpha, Foxtrot, Echo, Charlie, Bravo. Dublin Tower Day or Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra Dublin Alpha, Echo Foxtrot Alpha Dublin Approach Day or Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra Alpha Type Day or TBM 92 miles west of Dublin 1000 Third person please how do I go to third person Request clearance to transition Charlie airspace Air Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra Alpha Dublin Approach Squawk 6311 Hello, on screen waypoints and navigate. Day or Golf, Sierra, I, I, I know where Dublin City is. Day or Golf, Sierra, Alpha radar contact one miles northwest of Dublin. Press the Alpha, end key. Press e Cleared through the Charlie airspace. Oh. I the can Charlie show airspace. you Sierra, the world. No, I don't trust myself flying in this mode. It is so much louder. Okay. This this is how do I go back? I, I want to go back in the cockpit. And thank God. Scary. We'll get close to Dublin City and then we'll go to. Uh, no, we got we gotta go to third person to see it. Let me just adjust the audio settings and tab out of the game real quick. Hang on. No, no. no what, why is it saying focus assist? I held this one for you. Okay. Let me adjust the audio. Oh fuck. I, I need to lower my throttle. Hang on, let, let me get back inside the cockpit. Gentle throttle. Gentle, gentle speed. There we go. That's too low? Fifty-three. How do I stop these guys talking in my ear? So, is that? Wait, where where am I? Okay, so this here 
But we're flying over. This is Phoenix Park. Uh, this is this is Ireland's largest park. The Dublin Zoo is located here, and also Aris and Oaks are on. This is this is where um, the president of Ireland lives. Uh, most people don't know that Ireland actually has a president, uh, but we do. He's kind of like a. He's not so much as like president as a, like the United States or something, where it's like a position of power. Uh, rather, it's more of kind of like a cultural ambassador. Like the real power in Ireland lies with the Taoiseach, who is basically our prime minister. Uh, the president still gets a fancy house here. I think that's our Sanukta on there. I think that's it. Let's go in. Let's go in for a closer look. Gonna be hard to spot. I've gone too far. Why does it keep turning to the side? Trying, I'm trying to give a proper tour of Dublin. I, I, I need to get closer. That's the problem. We're too high up. Okay. <laughs> this. This is gonna get bumpy. All right, I, I need to find the right throttle. Adjust the trim. How do I adjust my trim? It keeps slowly turning to the right. Why in the D-pad? Thank you. Did I fix it? One three two decimal one five day or golf Sierra Alpha. Shannon Center, Day or Alpha Sierra, X Ray Golf, Sierra Alpha, six thousand. Gotta find the spire. The one's gotta stop it. Alright, it's gonna have to be me. Okay, there that right there is Crow Park Stadium. That's one of the biggest stadiums in Ireland. We have a lot of like our GAA games and like football and stuff like that. Um, how do I lower my speed? How do I stop these guys talking in my ear? Getting, getting kind of low right now. Getting, yeah, we can get a better view. Okay, so here's the River Liffey. It's the central river in Ireland. Or the, the central river of Dublin, not of Ireland. This right here? This is my university. This is Trinity College, Dublin. Uh, this is where I, uh, this is like city center, and this is where I, I got my English degree. I can tell it's the college because it's just the buildings in that little park spot there. This is St. Stephen's Green. This is like a very famous park in Dublin. That's Marion Square. Another park in kind of like the center, the center of Dublin. Turn off damage at assists. I, I don't know if I can do that right now. I'm quite low to the ground. Um, Grafton Street will be this street here, kind of between Trinity and Stephen's Green. Uh, this is like the part of Dublin that uh, I would hang out in there during like my uni days, like almost all the time. Oh, unfortunately, I don't think the spire is here. I don't see it. The spire. I think this is O'Connell Street. Yep, this this right here is O'Connell Street. This is like the central, one of the main streets in the entire like like country. The spire would be right there. You see where my mouse cursor is. It's sadly not here, so we need to start a petition to Microsoft um, to try and get this in the game. It's a terrible shame. There's the O2 arena as well. I believe that. Yeah, that, that's the O2. Um, I, 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 can show, I can show you something, actually. Uh, over here, uh, this part of Dublin here, this is Sandy Mount. And when I actually worked as a postman for a while, uh, this is the part of Dublin that I service. Uh, that's something else I can share, I think. So I would be like kind of delivering a lot of posts in this whole area. 
uh, part of Dublin. Postman Dan. Yeah, no, it's true. I, I, I worked there for like a few months. Uh, it was right before I went to Japan. I did it to get some money uh, for the trip, basically. Is Sandy about where the James Joyce Museum is? Hey. So, I actually haven't been to the James Joyce Museum. Uh, which is weird, because I fucking love James Joyce. I love Ulysses, and I love Dubliners. I've just never gone. Um, I, I need to get on that. Sad spire noises. Post Dan. Go lower. Let, let's go in for a closer look. Hang on. How close to the city can I get? Let's go inside the cockpit. Can I fly down the Liffey? <laughs> Your graphics are probably too low for the Spire, Dan. Oh, that's... That's a good point. I didn't think about that. If I up the graphics setting by one... Risky click of the day. With the streamed eyes, you know why. Do you think this would spawn the Spire? Gotta try to get close. I'm gonna lower the throttle some more too. Okay, we're going we're going in. Gotta gotta be real careful here. There's a lot of famous bridges um, along the Liffey too. They all like different architectural styles. Uh, Haypenny Bridge is probably the, like the most famous one. I see a lot of pictures of couples like posting padlocks on it. Getting close. Is there any sign of the spire? Am I gonna need to start a new petition after tow guys? Going around. I don't think the spire is here, unfortunately. It's cool how much of Dublin actually is here, though. I can recognize a bit of this. I don't know, like, even a fair amount of this. I think Trinity is even more render rendered now. I'm gonna have to pull up a bit. Gonna have to pull up a bit. Uh, unfortunately, the spire isn't here. This is O'Connell Street right here. Uh, I think that would be the GPO. Yes, it would. This entire big block here, that would be... Um, is that Henry Street? Is that the name of it? That would be a very busy shopping center, like district part of Dublin. There's Trinity College. Now, let me see if I can go around. There's the path. The path is rendered. Oh, my God. That was the college bar. How about the path Thursdays? There's St. Stephen's Green. You can even see, like, the square decoration. My God. But the path's actually... Yeah, Ty, Ty knows that. He's been to the path. Let me just see if I can keep going around. Kind of amazing how much is actually rendered. Some of the bigger shopping districts have just turned into like big office block. I imagine they can't represent like actual stores with their names in that. Um, let's go around here. Okay, we're getting, we're getting pretty low in the sky now. That's the best view of Trinity you're gonna get. There's the path. Um, there's Front Square. That would be with the arches. That's the English and Arts Department right there. So that that that's literally like that building over there is where I'd be st like learning my degree, like studying. We're okay. We still we we're not completely on the ground. 
Melbourne, thanks for a thousand bits. Go to Melbourne. There's a well, sorry, uh, Aleph, thanks for a thousand bits. Go to Melbourne. There's a spire there due to a data glitch. Uh, I can't really go there because it's a bit far. I, I do need to pull up a bit. Should we go say hi to the president? Don't, don't. Fuck. Oh, fuck, it's stalling. Throttle. Oh! <laughs> okay. One two two decimal zero for Day or Golf Sierra Alpha. I corrected it. Not, not completely useless. Uh, I have to work out where we are. If I get towards the Liffey again. I, I think I've gone past where I want to be. Phoenix Park. We'll pay Mickey D a visit. I want to pay Mickey D a visit and then we'll pay Kevin a visit. Pay Jesse a visit then too. Uh, I'm quite a bit away from Dublin. There's there's Phoenix Park. Yeah, okay. Around we go. F two lowers throttle, F three raises it. Thank you. No, I, I think that's the other way around. I think I lowered it too much. We're good. Okay. Uh, let's go around. I want to pay Mickey D a vi visit. Okay, we're coming in. Coming in. A big long road that kind of goes through the center of the park, and there's a roundabout kind of in the middle. Remember to put your phone in airplane mode. <laughs> see, I think that is that Dublin Zoo. The Dublin Zoo has a huge body of water in the middle of it. I think it is. Is this right? Is that one Aris and are on, or is it this one here? There's gotta be someone Irish in the chat who can help me out. Which one's Aris and on? Is that it, or is it the other one? It might be the other one. That's it. Was it the first or second one? It's the first one. Okay, around we go. You're entering restricted airspace. It's fine. I know what I'm doing. I'm a, I'm a professional pilot. Go on the circular garden bits outside. Thanks, Ty. Yeah, so it was this one here. Here's where Mickey D lives. Alright. Go. Let's go pay him a visit. Oh, say hey. Go say. Uh, this, yeah, you thought I was actually gonna cry. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna leave the video alone. Don't you worry. I'm gonna leave him be. No, cause I gotta go see Kevin. That's the thing. Do a flip. Oh, what does the flip look like from this angle? Here we go. We don't have enough throttle. Ah, uh, I might need some more throttle. <laughs> we 
we're okay. Which is three thanks for hundred bits. I wonder who gets more annoyed. Pilots watching you play this or doctors watching you play surgeon sim? Pilots watching me play this. There's not a doubt in my mind. Okay, we gotta go we gotta go to Dublin. Well that's the cork. We're in Dublin. Max throttle. Let's go. Increase our airspeed. Excuse me. Yeah, we're doing good. Uh, is there anything I need to pay attention to? We're kind of getting back on the flight path too, which is nice. Master warning. What I do? Everything looks fine. Okay. Well, let's just go for a gentle fly. I'm gonna go say hi to Kevin. We'll see Jesse after too, and see if we can find Burrow. So I, I need to keep it like there, don't I? I feel like this is gonna take a. How long does this actually take to get there? Is it true to life? Am I actually gonna have to spend 22 minutes just flying there? Oh my god, it's real time. Oh no, so this, this, this is a proper flight simulator. I. What time is it? Okay, I guess. I guess we got we gotta wait a while. Is there cheat codes? Time for a chill stream. I think so. Like I'm, I'm literally just flying this plane with like a. Cider. We gotta take our time. Developer options and settings. Wait, there's developer options? Where are those? Oh, where are those? How does that work? The dev mode. Tools. Camera. Options. Shannon Center, Day or Alpha Sierra, X-ray Golf, Sierra Alpha, eight thousand four hundred feet. Uh. The Lord said, let there be light. Uh. Disable crashes. Squawk seven zero zero zero. Frequency change. Yeah, a crash is actually disabled now. Can I not die? Well, it's time to find out. <laughs> oh, I gotta put it to the test! <laughs> it's fine! We're okay! We bounced! Yes, it works! I gotta go back to Dublin. Oh, no, fuck, fuck Kevin. No, I gotta go back to Dublin. Oh my god. I'm gonna land it in Dublin on the Liffey. I'm landing the plane on the Liffey. I'm landing the... Where do we start? Here we go. Ugh. Sand likes for six quid. If you set your set into all players and let us know what server you're on, we can all fly with you and there is no chat, so no worries. 
Is this multiplayer? Wait, what? Yes, it is. Guys, how many people can we get in Dublin? Can I play multiplayer with the dev mode enabled? Dublin Tower Day or Alpha Sierra X Ray Golf Sierra Alpha at runway 28 ready for takeoff. Can I play with dev mode? On multiplayer. Yeah, it's multiplayer. How do I how do I get people in the game? Am I in the right place right now? How, how how do I how do I do it? I because I don't know. Do I go back to the main menu? Go back. Let's have a look. I want as many people as possible to see Dublin with me. Where, where is it? Where, so where, where am I going? World map. I can't click that arrow. World map, flight conditions. All players will be visible. I don't want air traffic data. You can set custom. No, just 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 preset. Clear skies. Change the time. Put the weather on live. Oh my god. Okay, is is wait, do I need live players? Is it live players or all players? Live players, live weather. Okay. Alright. No air traffic. <coughs> Excuse me. I think Jesse said bless, uh, bless you. Thank you. Um, destination airport was gonna... I'm gonna just set it for... Uh, new ca That's a different new Newcastle. That's not the one I meant. American Steel and City Names. Where, no, where is it? It's the, it's the wrong one. That's Newcastle 2. That is arrival. You need to do all players. I did all players. You, no, you did live players. People told me to do live players. Did they not? How do I go back one step? Reset. Go back. How do I go back more? No, world map, flight conditions. All players. You need live, sir. But is it all or live? People are debating that. I thought, because I said it to all, and then people will scream and do it live. All players will be visible regardless of the settings unless they have set mul multiplayer to group only. Why do people want life? Okay, is that what people want? Is that it? Okay. Let's do it.
That is the arrival. Okay, I th I think we're ready. Uh, do, do is do I know what server I'm on? I can choose my plane too. Do, do, what plane would be good for tour in Dublin? I don't I don't want to go too fast. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking die if I'm in this one. We just go for a Boeing 747 Intercontinental. Yeah, let's, let's go with this. Sure. Okay, flight. And we're gonna turn off damage so that we're in Dublin, we're fine. How do I restart the plane if I crash? Dan, you cannot find that, trust me. It can't be that different to a normal plane. I, I know how to use the throttle. There's <laughs> no chance. <laughs> There's no chance. Okay, every, everyone coming into the game, please appear in Dublin. We're going to see how many players in Dublin specifically we can gather. Please do come and say hey. Dublin Tower, Boeing Alpha Sierra. 747 ready at runway 10 east departure. Uh, it, we're not going to be able to see it. Boeing Alpha Sierra. 747 cleared for takeoff runway 10 departure to the east approved. Oh my, it's melting. Hang on, give it a moment. Let there be, it's raining. We're not going to be able to see it. Who, who insisted on... <laughs> hey buddy, give me a moment to move. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Why is there so many more controls? Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Disengage, park, and press YB. We should be okay from here. We're gonna land in Dublin on a rainy day. Oh god, this, this is a massive plane. Lift off. Dude, there's another guy there. Hey, the runway is busy. The runway is busy. We can take off. I have enough throttle. I have enough throttle. Oh fuck, how we doing? Not great. <laughs> Not great. We need to go a little higher. No, 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 put the handles back up. Put the handles back. This is bad. <laughs> this is... This is This is real bad. 
Pull up. Pull up. Boeing 747, did you copy? Turn it back on. Okay, we're getting somewhere, but we, we have sailed off into the void. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Oh! We're okay. We're just coming in real low. Oh no, I've lost sight of Newcastle as well. I don't... Dublin approach Boeing Alpha Sierra. Seven, four, seven, There's a lot of planes following us. <laughs> Are those people from the stream? Hello, friends. I didn't take off the landing gear. Why is a Boeing 747 so complicated to fly? Who could have foreseen this? I just, I just want to see Dublin. There's, there's still people with us. You can see their lights. I'm, I'm amazed we haven't died yet. Oh. We'll be able to see Dublin under that fog. Well, I'm going to Newcastle, so it's not going to be a problem. It's going to take a while to fly there. Change the weather with the white bar at the top. Wait. Oh. That's so much better. Uh, should, should we go back to Dublin? Because I feel like we're going to be a while here otherwise. I, d I, I didn't expect it to actually take like real time to fly. I do want to park on the Liffey if I can. Yeah, let's... Let's turn around. It's a sim. I know. I, I, I shouldn't be surprised. Can I up the speed? Can I make it so I go real fast? You're very low. I, I know I'm low. Fly higher. Climb up the go fast. It's your captain speaking. We're making a tight turn. Hang on, folks. Don't use the toilet right now. You will get thrown into the wall. Control R. They're just pressing hold it. Oh, if I press it more, we just go faster. What does that do? Do I just press and hold this? No, we're just going up. Control R, then plus to increase. It just zooms in. Oh no, what am I looking at? Uh, how do I... Get out of the cockpit. I can get back to Dublin. Give me a moment. 
Mike, thanks for 500 bits. Thank you very much. Control E. What does Control E do? How do I... How do I get off this view? Hey, look, it's me! Okay, we're... A bit... We're in, like, North County, Dublin right now. We need to go down that way. Dublin City is over here. Can you do a barrel roll on a Bowen? Seven, four, let's find out. Uh oh. We're gonna need to pull up real quick. We're okay. Controller is vibrating real bad right now. It didn't it did not like that. Okay, we only came within a thousand feet of hidden mirror. Is there anyone still following me? Shannon Center, Boeing Alpha Sierra. Is it, th there's a plane back there. I think there's one guy who's managed to keep up. Boeing Alpha Sierra. You can see a seven, pair of lights seven, come in every now and then. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna come in the Dublin. You need to press the R. And use the control and plus Delta key Delta on the Sierra, numpad. Oh! Oh! I've lost connection to the servers! How do I slow it down? How do I slow it? Oh, why did you tell me this? Oh! Oh! oh. Where am I? Hackettstown Aerodrome. One two two decimal zero Boeing seven four seven. It speed it up a little bit, and then we just quickly turn. <laughs> and we just quickly turn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think we might be in trouble. Hang on. Where's the plane? Where's the plane? <laughs> oh no. Oh no, it's upside down. <laughs> it's not supposed to be packed like that. <laughs> oh no. <sighs> Rebellious, thanks for five QF subs. Five thanks for a thousand bits. Hey, Andy, there's a train heading towards my house, wish me luck. Please stay safe, my man. The trees are still struggling to load in. We're getting buried, buddy. How do I slow down the time? We've connected again. What's it look like from the cockpit? Hang on. Please let me in the cockpit. Oh, please let me see the pilot's view. <laughs> oh no, we're on the other side of the world. We're not we're not supposed to see this. We're in the void. <laughs> I 
<laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> How do we break it this bad? The upside down. Uh, add favorite piece of music in these uh, times. Come on, tires. We gotta, we gotta get out of it. We're go I'm increasing the speed. Wish me luck. If the stream uh, ends, you know why. Can't see. Hang on. We're clipping through the world. Oh! Oh my god! I don't. I don't know what's happening anymore. End. Click end. We need to see the, the other person. Nothing's working anymore. <laughs> The computer is dying. I may need to stop this. I just... Oh god. End. End. Time's resumed. Oh. Oh. Oh, something's not right! <laughs> Is the engine still- do I have any controls? No, no we don't. <laughs> End! Oh, the plane's not doing too well. The plane's not doing... I don't, I don't know how we fix this. Oh. Is anyone out there? Have any other pilots found me? I don't, I don't know what... Turn off the engine. It's powering down. Now we prepare for the long night. <laughs> oh. Chipper, thanks for 250. Join the stream live for the first time to hear Hans Zimmer's No Time for Cautious. The world crumbles around you. Keep up the great work, RT. Thank you very much. And I think on that bombshell, as we are just lost in the void, um, I think that's a good point to wrap up the stream for today. <laughs> Mike, can you hear that? I, I put my controller down, but it's angry. I... It, it keeps vibrating. I don't know why it's vibrating. I, m I may need to quit. I may need to get out of here. <laughs> oh, thank God for that. We're gonna we're gonna wrap up the stream there, folks. Um, but thank you, everyone. 
coming by tonight. I hope I was able to show you a little more of Dublin. You know, the place I call home. Uh, we got we got a real good look at it, I think. We almost killed the president. Uh, that, that was good fun, fun, although it does seem to be melting my PC, especially to be streaming it. Um, so we're gonna have to leave it there. I think. Amber, thank you for a thousand bits right at the end. Thank you very much. Kind words, too. I ho hope you're doing well. Ah. <laughs> I can't believe we died that badly in, like, flight train. <laughs> I think that's the biggest takeaway from that stream. I, I, there, there was a tutorial where it's just, we're gonna look at the instruments and end it with me crashing into the side of a mountain. Like, I didn't have control of the aircraft. <laughs> All I had to do was look. And we died horribly. <laughs> Oh, uh, God. Uh, we're going to be back on Saturday, and we're going to hopefully be doing some Among Us then. Uh, I might play another game in that stream as well. I'm not sure just yet. But Saturday will be the next stream. Uh, as a heads up, too, I'm not going to be streaming this Sunday. Uh, schedule is just a bit weird at the moment because there's some, like, extra stuff happening. Uh, there's going to be, like, an extra stream next week that kind of just... Well, I think there's two extra streams next week that I kind of, like, throw the schedule in the disarray. Um, so I'm not I'm not streaming Sunday just because of that, um, just so you guys know. But we'll be back on Saturday, we'll do some Among Us then, we might do something else too. Uh, but until then, thank you so much for coming by. I'm gonna see who is streaming. I'm leaving in their care. Uh, let me see. It says Jessie's still alive, but I heard her just go to the toilet. Is she still alive? It says, it says starting soon. I think she's still going. We'll find out. Go say hey to Jesse. They're taking a break. Cool. Okay, go say hey to Jesse then. Uh, thanks for coming by tonight, folks. And I'll see you all soon. Take care, guys.